Very good to see you, sir. Thank it's you. great to see you as well, Richard. So th the situation's not good at the moment, and yet there has been more optimism in the la last few days at Davos. What's changed? I'm not sure much yet has changed. Let's talk about that 73%, that 40%. It's a global survey with lots of different sized organizations. We're sitting here in Davos with a little bit more optimism, but if you talk to small to medium sized enterprises, huge panic. What about what though? Your worry board is top of mind for them specifically, and they have no ability to actually manage the risks that they see in front of themselves right now. Why? I mean, they've seen this coming. I agree they can't do much about it to change it, but they can alter their own businesses. And we're seeing layoffs in, in larger businesses, um, restructuring of debt in others. You're going to see the quality of management be a differentiating factor like never before. If we have good quality management that knows how to manage these risks and actually take on the change management to adjust to the disruption, great. But those that can't, Richard, we're going to fall far behind very, very quickly. But there's a real problem with that change of management, and it is this. Firstly, you have to deal with the cyclical or mm -hmm. the, 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 the crises de jour. But then you have to deal with the structural issues, AI, change of distribution patterns, globalization of markets in different ways. Absolutely right. And it's the combination of all those things that's actually testing management teams around the world, large and small, no matter where you are in the world. If I'm sitting in China, the 10-year issue I'm worried about is, in fact, energy. Sources of it, the cost that's going to come their way as they come off of coal. If you're sitting in Brazil, it's the technology changes that are yet to come. If you sit in the, the, uh, Europe, it's actually labor and regulation that's top of mind for them right now. So how do I manage the collective focus points that they've got and these specific issues in the short and long term? We have talking of that. We have these new uh, scope regulations coming out and reporting regulations coming out on sustainability. Most companies sort of know about it, but are not ready for it. Not at all. The challenge, is, that, is that a big problem? It is a problem. We have two fundamental issues right now. The reporting standards from a WEF's perspective was set up to actually demonstrate progress and allow for comparability with transparency for decisions to be made. The reality is we have fragmentation on rulemaking around the world. The EU is doing one thing. The SEC is doing another. The global standard setters are doing another. And the problem is, all of it is too complex and not implementable. I don't mean to be um, sort of blunt. Well, maybe I do mean to be blunt. <laughs> but all this uncertainty and all this difference and all this thing, it's good for your business because people need guidance, advice, consultants. The reality is we actually do thrive in a world that's uncertain and there's right. change. People need our help. But this issue, this economy impacts us as well. Rising inflation and wages impacts our people and our bottom line, our ability to invest, and we've got to do a better job delivering value faster to those organizations. And the competition from your competitors is fierce, isn't it? It's going to continue and we expect it to be that way. We can only control what we control. Let's make sure we do the best we can and leave the rest to everybody else. Right. Well, uh, choose your color, sir. Green. Green's in vogue tonight. All right. Come over to the wall. Uh, pop yourself on the wall. Where, what do you like the look of? So the biggest issue in the short term is global recession right here. Give a tick, yes. And the biggest issue oh, for me personally oh. and is this one. We're at a, a problem point in view in terms of the haves and the have-nots. You, you went for two. I did go for two. We can't solve all the other problems of that without money in people's pockets, including governments and business. The recession is going to be impactful. We've got to deal with it. I can't fix everything else. And if we don't fix everything else fast, social inequality. Good to see you, sir. You